Hello everybody, Caleb Ray back again with another team training for our DSD Fearless Dominators drop shipping team. And today I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive in order to keep track of your eBay listings and your eBay sales using a Google spreadsheet. So I'm logged in and basically you can find this at Google well, it's a little bit, you can do a simpler address than this, okay, to get to it. It's a google.com slash drive, and you can log in with your Gmail account. It's a free service you get from Google, and it gives you uh, 15 gigabytes worth of storage space that you can upload files and share them to people, and you can create files. Okay, so logged in, and as you can see, I have all my files here, but to the left, you can select new to create a new file and here you can upload files and folders but what we're going to focus on today is using Google Sheets. You just click that and you can make a new spreadsheet okay and here you can uh, I'm just going to skip over to one I've already made so we'll, we'll check out my eBay listings tracking sheet first okay as you see I've formatted this a bit um, it obviously doesn't look like this because I've kind of like adjusted the sizing of uh, some of these boxes. And how you can do that is that you move your cursor right in between these boxes and you can adjust them like so, so that they appear how you like them to appear. So you can do that uh, horizontally and you can do that vertically. All right and basically how I'm setting this up is I have a column for each of the important pieces of information that would need to be added. So we have a sold column which I'm just kind of keeping track of the number of items that we've successfully sold per that listing. Just a little bit of extra information. Vendor listing title which is where we're just putting the the title of the product at Amazon or Overstock wherever you're sourcing that from competitor URL. This is actually the web address of the eBay seller who you're undercutting, if the, you're undercutting one. Vendor product URL. This is the web address of where you're actually going to purchase and ship the item from. Usually usually Amazon or Overstock or any other place you're using. My buying price is basically the price that we're purchasing it from from that source. Competitor selling price is basically the price that we're going to undercut if we're undercutting a seller when listing the item, then my, our undercut price, and then we can calculate the profit margin and put it in this column. So basically, as that we're researching items to list, it's most effective to actually list multiple or research multiple items before you go list a single item because you can you can have a more effective research flow, uh, seeking items to list flow using the spider research process that, that Roger teaches in the DS domination training. And uh, because I found that if you just go find an item and then you list it, you're really losing out on the whole search flow that you could that you could be rocking and uh, finding your finding your way to multiple items of potential to sell. So best move is to just find an item, list all the information for it, if you find an item with potential, and then just keep going and find yourself maybe 10, 15 items and list them all out on here. This way, when it comes time for you to list each item, you have like half the work done already. You don't have to figure out the profit or selling price and you have the URLs handy for, and then in case, then of course when the, your items sell, when your items sell, um, you'll be able to come right back to this spreadsheet and easily grab the link and go right to the source where you're going to purchase it from and ship it. Okay, so that breaks that down. I'll show you this other sheet. This other sheet I have here is called the eBay sales tracking. Okay, so we have the order date, number sold, units, product title, the one from uh, where you're sourcing it from, Amazon Overstock or wherever, customer, eBay or PayPal ID, your sale price, your purchase price, any sales tax paid, the PayPal fee and the eBay fee, and then your profit. 
and so as your sales come in you can just order them by date and keep track like this okay this is a great way to keep track of everything that's happening with your sales so I definitely highly recommend doing that and uh, it's, it's a great option for free you know um, I do know of a paid spreadsheet and anybody that wants to reach out to me can ask me about that and I'll recommend it to you um, the paid version actually will account it'll have the calculations to account for uh, all of your sales together without you having to add them up. Because the only drawback of this method is that, uh, yes, it's a great way of keeping track of everything, but it doesn't automatically tally everything. So, it's, you know, it's still an option. You know, it's still a great option. So, another thing to consider is uh, when you first open up a spreadsheet and make a new one, you type a whole bunch of stuff in here, and it kind of formats weird, right? So something knows if you just click in that box, and then we just go to let's see, it's one of these here. Format wrap text. Then it will make it stay within that box. If you want more of it to show, you can just kind of adjust it like that, and you're all set. Okay? Of course you have all these formatting options up here, just like in any word processor or like in Excel. But that basically wraps it up. I just wanted to show you this so you can improve your organization and uh, crush it even harder with your eBay drop shipping with DS Domination. So Caleb right here signing off with another training for the Fearless Dominators team. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to find more useful information about making money online, please visit my blog website. Uh, using the link below in the video description and also please take the time to like and share this video with your friends. Alright, thank you very much and have a nice day.